Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm out looking at some properties today that are included in our next online auction. This is the estate of Jimmy Pruitt, and I'm in Inman. We have about six properties here in Inman that will be included in this auction, and all the bidding is online. This particular home is at 52 Bomar Street. It's a pretty nice home. I was surprised. The outside is darn near perfect. It has uh, all the vinyls great, it's brick underpin, even has a storm door still on it. That's unusual uh, with a manufactured home, or some of y'all might want to say a double wide. When we go inside, you'll see it looks like that front room has been freshly painted, but it does need some carpet, needs a little paint in the rest of the house. Uh, so I would say clean, put a coat of paint on it, put in some carpet and there's two soft spots in the floor. I'll step on those while we're going through. Besides that, I think you got a good investment here. It's probably going to make you some money. Be good for rental. Be good for flip. Maybe uh, owner finance. That's where the big bucks are made selling these double wides. All right, we're going to head on inside, take a look. When you come down Bomar Street, you're going to see everything is well maintained along here. I think you're going to like it. Okay, I'm inside to the, the spacious living area. It's a pig living room in this house. And as I said, it just needs some carpet. But looks like somebody painted the wall. It could, it could stand a little touch up along the edge and the trim. But the, season, um, the ceiling is, is snow white. Looks good. Carpet's a little dirty. Sometimes you can clean this carpet. I don't know. You look at it and you might save a little money there. And then we have this dining area over here. Right off the kitchen. And the kitchen's kind of an L shape. So we'll walk over there and look it over. You know, as I said, the... Uh, Outside is just about perfect. Inside, not that bad. And I believe they did a little painting here in the kitchen, it looks like to me. There's something on the ceiling. I don't know what that is. It's, looks like some smut. Maybe they lit a candle or something. Anyway, there's some appliances in here. I don't guarantee them. If they work, Yahoo, you hit the gold mine. Looks like that uh, couple of them doors could need a little attention. Now I'm going to walk, I think it's right about in there, uh, in front of that cabinet next to the kitchen. There's a little soft spot, and when I get there I'll tell you. Yep, that's it, right there. So you got that little soft spot, probably want to give it some attention, and you're going to put down flooring anyway, so might as well take care of it. Here's some more cabinets over here. So there's a lot of cabinets and countertop in this kitchen. This is a laundry and leads out to the back and there's a little covered deck and as I walk across here there's two more little soft spots so you're probably going to need some uh, need a couple of pieces of plyboard and in there that room that's your utilities uh, heat water heater and all all right I'm going to continue around and I'll meet you in the master Right, this is the master bedroom. It's on the front of the house if you're uh, facing it. A um, couple of those windows are a little foggy. Probably could stand maybe a replacement. But in here, we just need to clean, paint, and you decide about the carpet. And it looks pretty good. Ceilings all look nice. There's a walk-in closet around to my left. One little hole there in the floor. I'm in the wall. I'm sorry, you need to prep that up. That's a nice closet. And then we have our master bath. And somebody locked herself in the bathroom because there's a somebody tried to kick the door in there at the bottom. You could probably fix that. A little bondo or something. Anyway, this is a double sink vanity. That brown stripe kind of reminds me of the UPS racing car. 
And then over here, we have a uh, little garden tub, pretty nice. And this uh, bath has a shower. And I noticed the doors are off, but they're in the bedroom, leaned up against the wall. So I'm, they're here. I don't know why they took them off. Maybe they were cleaning it real good before they left. All right, we're gonna head down to the other end of the house. We have two more bedrooms. This is a three-two. Pretty nice size home. Pretty good shape so far, I think. Okay, we just have a very short hallway here. Maybe six or eight feet. First door on our left is a bedroom. You know, this is a, now that I realize it, this is a higher end uh, manufactured home. It's got sheetrock walls in it. I should have pointed that out earlier, but I knew there was something that was different. It didn't have those little stripes in the wall where they join the wall paneling together. You know, come in here and clean the paint. Maybe put out some carpet. This is our other bath. Cut the light on. We don't have any power here in the house. But I do have a little light to help us. It's in pretty good shape, pretty clean room there. I mean, it might be all right like it is. Just if you don't like blue, change the color. This is our last bedroom. I hope you'll come out and look at this house at the inspection. I think this is the upper end. It's brick under, pinned, sheetrock walls. A little bit better than yeah, some of the double wides we sell. All right, we're gonna head out in the yard, take a little look around out there. Okay, I'm out in the back now, and it's got a good roof. Got this little porch on the back. It's brick underpin. Looks like it needs a door on a crawl space, and the vinyl is just perfect on this house. You need to come out and walk around it. You can peek in some of the windows and see what's going on. There's the neighbors down through there. Everybody looks nice and neat. Same over here. Just a great little house. Online bidding, just be the high bidder. But this is a little bit, this is a step above. All right, I still wrap it up here at 52 Beaumar Street. I'm gonna head right down the street number 60. That'll be our next one in line. But before I leave here, remember it's an online auction. All bidding takes place on the internet. We will not be out here at the property to take your bids. And read your contract package. There's going to be some important information in there. We uh, have some banks involved in this deal. You need to see what we have to say about them, what we're going to do with them, and how the sale is going to be conducted, what your deposit is, how we're going to close, and how you're going to take possession of the property. So read the contract package. If then you have some questions, you don't understand something, that's fine. Give us a call. Our number's right here at the bottom of the screen or send us an email, info at terryhow.com. We're there to help you. We want you to be comfortable with the process. And we want you to bid. All right, one last time, it's online only. terryhow.com's the address and I'll see you there. I hope this video has been informative and help you make a decision to come out and look at it at the inspection or you might just buy it right off the video. I do recommend on-site inspections every time. All right, I'm gone. See you down the street.